Okay. This is a reply to someone who emailed me, and I apologize for the delay. Um, yes, the nice guy syndrome is unfortunately, I don't want to say doomed, but I did a video on it a while back. It's a uh, good guy versus bad guy. And unfortunately, the nice guy syndrome is a bit cursed, if you will. Um, a man who is extremely open about himself. You asked, you said you watched a YouTube and the guy said like 20 million times in 20 minutes that there's no mystery. Women love a mystery. The old thing is that men love the chase, right? Women like to, to dig for, for information. We like to nitpick. We are detail oriented. We want to, we, that's why women make good investigators because we're constantly digging. We're hunting something. So my advice maybe would be don't be so open. I find this problem as well because when I meet someone that I like, I, I tend to dish all my shit in the beginning and go, if you wanna, you know, if you're willing to know all that and still be interested in me, then we can have a second date. I don't usually get second dates. So advice from someone who sounds a little bit like I, I'm way too open with myself, reel that in. Leave some mystery, leave some spice, um, let her dig it out of you. It's all a big fucking game. It really is. And I hate games, which is why I refuse to play it, which is why I am also still single. <laughs> um, so yes, unfortunately, when you are that open and that forward, there's nothing, there's no meat for us to hold on to, figuratively speaking. As far as all your relationships turning into sex, when you give everything right up front, but the sex is good, they'll tolerate the boringness for the good sex. So switch them up a little bit. Maybe don't pull out all your tricks on the personal side. First, let that build too. So make your yourself a little bit more mysterious and make your sex life a lot more mysterious as well. Because if a woman sleeps with you and she thinks, oh, well that was kind of nice. I wonder what else he's got under his hat. She'll keep coming back. That is also true for personality traits. Oh, huh. So that is my advice. Scale back what you're willing to share Make them earn it. Make them earn it in the bedroom too. Make them earn them both. Because you're, I don't know you, but you know, everybody is worth the love that they desire. So therefore, my advice to you would be to rein in what all you give in the beginning, in and out of the bedroom. Let them earn it. Let them show you they'll put in the work for it. If they're not gonna work for it, you're not gonna break a sweat for it. So that is my advice. I hope it helps. Um, again, I apologize for the delay and uh, email me again if you have any more questions.